The Dark Financier, 10 Scandalous and Shocking Facts About Jay Gould Jay Gould, often dubbed the Mephistopheles of Wall Street, was one of the most notorious and controversial figures in American financial history. His name is synonymous with ruthless business tactics, insider trading, and corruption. From his early days to his later years, Gould's life was marked by scandals and controversies that left a lasting impact on the American economy and society. Here are 10 of the most scandalous and shocking facts about Jay Gould. Fact number 1. Early Life and Ambitious Marriage Jay Gould was born on May 27, 1836, in Roxbury, New York. His father, John Burr Gould, was a farmer who struggled to make ends meet. From a young age, Jay demonstrated a keen intellect, particularly in mathematics and surveying. By the time he was 16, Gould had published A History of Delaware County, a remarkable feat for someone so young. His early success set the stage for his relentless pursuit of wealth. At 24, Gould married Helen Day Miller, the daughter of a wealthy New York merchant. The marriage was seen by many as a strategic move to solidify his financial position. Together, they had six children, but Gould's obsession with his business ventures often kept him away from his family. This led to rumors that his marriage was one of convenience rather than love, further fueling his reputation as a man driven solely by profit. Number 2. The Erie Railroad War, a Battle of Giants In 1868, Jay Gould became embroiled in one of the most infamous corporate battles in American history, the Erie Railroad War. Gould, alongside James Fisk and Daniel Drew, sought to wrest control of the Erie Railroad from the legendary Cornelius Vanderbilt. The battle was fought with every dirty trick in the book, Gould and his allies issued over 100,000 shares of fraudulent Erie stock to dilute Vanderbilt's holdings. To protect their scheme, they fled to Jersey City, outside the jurisdiction of New York courts, taking with them the Erie Railroad's corporate books. The conflict escalated when Gould bribed New York legislators with millions of dollars in exchange for favorable laws. Eventually, Vanderbilt conceded, having lost an estimated $7 million, about $120 million today. Gould's victory in the Erie War made him both fabulously wealthy and notoriously hated. Number 3. Black Friday, the Gold Conspiracy of 1869. On September 24, 1869, the United States witnessed one of its most devastating financial disasters, known as Black Friday, orchestrated by Jay Gould and James Fisk. The pair attempted to corner the gold market by purchasing massive amounts of gold, driving up its price from $135 to $160 per ounce in just days. Their scheme hinged on preventing the U.S. Treasury from releasing gold into the market. Gould even manipulated President Ulysses S. Grant's brother-in-law, Abel Corbin, to influence the president's decisions. When Grant finally ordered the Treasury to sell gold, the market collapsed, sending prices plummeting and causing widespread panic on Wall Street. Thousands of investors were ruined overnight. Although Gould managed to sell much of his gold before the crash, he narrowly avoided criminal charges, but the event solidified his reputation as one of the most despised men in America. Number 4. Tammany Hall and the Cost of Corruption Jay Gould's deep ties with Tammany Hall, New York City's notoriously corrupt political machine, were key to his business success. Gould funneled enormous sums of money to Tammany leaders, including boss William M. Tweed, to secure political protection and favorable court rulings. One of the most egregious examples occurred during the Erie War when Gould paid Tammany judges to issue injunctions against Vanderbilt. In 1871, when Tweed's corruption was exposed and he was arrested, Gould distanced himself from Tammany, though he continued to wield significant influence in New York politics. His willingness to corrupt the political system for personal gain made him a symbol of the era's moral decay and earned him widespread public hatred. Number 5. The Union Pacific Scandal, Robber Baron Tactics in 1873, Jay Gould took control of the Union Pacific Railroad, part of the first transcontinental railroad. Gould's tenure was marked by financial manipulation and corruption. He inflated the company's stock prices while siphoning off vast sums for personal use, contributing to the railroad's near collapse. 
This scandal was part of the larger Credit Mobilier scandal, where Union Pacific executives, including Gould, created a sham construction company to overcharge the government for the construction of the railroad, pocketing the difference. The exposure of these corrupt practices during the Panic of 1873 led to public outrage. Gould's role in nearly bankrupting a critical national infrastructure project reinforced his image as a ruthless robber baron who prioritized personal profit over the public good. Number 6. The Telegraph Monopoly, Western Union Takeover In the 1880s, Jay Gould set his sights on dominating the telegraph industry, leading to one of his most controversial business ventures. He acquired the Western Union Telegraph Company, effectively creating a monopoly in the communication industry. Gould's control over the telegraph lines allowed him to manipulate the flow of information to suit his financial interests. For instance, he could delay or alter telegraph messages to impact stock prices, a tactic that furthered his already notorious reputation. His stranglehold on the industry also stifled competition, drawing criticism from journalists and business rivals alike. Gould's telegraph empire epitomized the dangers of unchecked corporate power and left a lasting impact on American business practices. Number 7. Crushing Labor, the Missouri Pacific Strike Jay Gould's ruthless approach to labor relations was most evident during the 1886 Missouri Pacific Railroad strike. As the railroad's owner, Gould refused to negotiate with striking workers who demanded better wages and working conditions. Instead, he hired Pinkerton detectives and strikebreakers to violently suppress the strike. The conflict escalated into a series of bloody confrontations between strikers and armed guards, resulting in the deaths of several workers. Gould's hardline stance against labor earned him widespread infamy, and he was widely condemned by labor unions and the public. His actions during the strike exemplified the brutal tactics used by industrial magnates to maintain control over their empires, further cementing his legacy as one of the most hated figures of his time. Number 8. Market Manipulation, the Archetype of the Insider Trader Throughout his career, Jay Gould was notorious for his manipulation of financial markets. He was a pioneer of insider trading, using his positions within companies to gain advanced knowledge of market-moving events. One of his favorite tactics was bear raids, where he would short-sell stocks while spreading false rumors to drive down their prices, only to buy them back at a lower cost. These practices were not illegal at the time but were considered highly unethical. Gould's manipulation of markets left many investors bankrupt and fueled public resentment towards him. His actions contributed to the eventual establishment of regulations to curb such practices, but during his lifetime, they made him one of the most despised men on Wall Street. Number 9. The Decline and Isolation As Jay Gould's health began to decline in the 1880s, so did his business empire. His aggressive tactics and constant legal battles had taken their toll, and Gould became increasingly reclusive. By the time of his death on December 2, 1892, at the age of 56, Gould was a shadow of his former self. Despite his vast fortune, estimated at $72 million, over $2 billion today, Gould was largely isolated from the society he had once dominated. His funeral was a private affair, attended by only a few close associates and family members. In the end, Gould's relentless pursuit of wealth had left him wealthy but lonely, and he died one of the most hated men in America. Number 10. The Enigmatic Fortune Even after Jay Gould's death, his financial legacy remained shrouded in mystery. Although his estate was valued at $72 million, many believed that Gould had hidden a significant portion of his wealth in secret accounts, trusts, and investments. Some speculated that his children and associates were unaware of the true extent of his fortune. This belief was fueled by Gould's well-known secretive nature and his habit of operating through complex financial structures that obscured his true wealth. The mystery surrounding his fortune only added to the intrigue of his life. After his death, his children inherited vast wealth, but their fates varied widely. His eldest son, George J. Gould, struggled to maintain the family's railroad empire and ultimately lost much of it. His daughter, Helen Gould, became a prominent philanthropist, using her inheritance for public good, while other descendants lived relatively quiet lives, far removed from the scandal that surrounded Jay Gould. 
Even today, historians and financial experts debate the full extent of Gould's wealth and the impact it had on American capitalism.